Hackers are paying to stab us in the back while you ransack our wallets for everything we have. Tense moments and lots of booing at a town hall meeting hosted by U.S. Representative Michael Burgess. Good evening, I'm Marisa Vedra. Thank you for joining us tonight for News 8 at 6. It's worth noting that the congressman was in Flower Mound in person to face his constituents today. That's something many of his colleagues around the country have refused to do. The hundreds of people in that crowd today had a wide range, range of concerns and questions. Our Hannah Davis joins us now live. And Hannah, could we find a common focus from that crowd? Well, Marie, we heard about school choice campaign funding, and of course we heard about Russia. But by far the number one question was about Affordable Care Act and what it would mean for Texans if it's repealed. Now, just about every time someone stepped up to the microphone, their question had something to do with the ACA. We heard from Texans who say they are afraid of losing their coverage or the coverage for their children. Congressman Burgess listened for more than two hours, letting dozens of people speak. At times, the moments were tense. He told the crowd he expects a draft of what he called a reconciliation bill to come out next week. He says it will lay out changes to health care, but he wouldn't say definitively what it would include. Another moment that got a huge response was, of course, a question about Russia. Take a listen to this woman who identifies herself as a Republican as she asked the congressman about her concerns. Now it is not fake news. They did lie. They were not honest. And I guess as, as our representative, what are you able to do to share the concerns of your people, our, your constituents that, that respect you, think a lot of you, but we're, we're very concerned. But I was concerned about it in the previous administration as well. This is not... This is not. Yeah. Murray, obviously you can see the crowd did not like that part of the congressman's response, but he did go on to say he has asked to review any information on Russia, and he says he will continue to do so. The congressman also said this will not be his last town hall. Right now he says he's dedicating most of his time to health care reform, and he will keep talking to his voters as that reform develops, and we see what that will mean. Murray, back to you. All right, Hannah Davis for us in our newsroom. Thank you, Hannah.